Farm workers are still among the lowest paid folks in America, but back 50 years ago it was even worse, far worse. They were largely ignored as they toiled in the fields of South Texas. That is, until photographer Alan Pogue of Austin set out to capture their humanity and courage. Jesse DeGollado profiles his years of devotion to the people who could hardly afford the food they picked by hand. Through his viewfinder, Alan Pogue saw a connection between farm workers being shot at and his service overseas. Hey, that's like Vietnam. You could just shoot some peasant farmer and, you know, nothing would happen. Traveling through Texas and northern Mexico, Pogue saw for himself. Only people who are really desperate for the work are doing these jobs. Stoop labor, hours on end, using the dreaded short-handled hoe preferred by growers. They said, well, at least if the farm workers are bent over, we know they're doing something. After the hoe was outlawed, he says growers switched to butcher knives. And so the legislature had to come back in the next time and pass a law against short-handled implements. His images speak of the reality of hard work and the people who did it. All day long, imagine granddad out there all day long tossing cantaloupes around. Long ago glimpses into their lives. One of the most poignant in a packing shed like this. A little girl proudly wearing her first communion dress, helping her mother sort bell peppers. She would hand it to the daughter who would put it in the reject chute. And that's all she had to do. That and pose for a portrait, holding a perfect specimen. Another, a student in Head Start, brimming with potential, yet living with four families and one spigot of water. Their tiny home later torn down. And I went back to the home hoping to find her and give her this picture, but I could never find them again. I don't know where they went. Where, where, where did she go? Jesse de Goyado, KSAT 12 News. Coming up on the night beat, recollections of a historic march 50 years ago by farm workers, nearly 500 miles from one of the poorest counties in America, right to the steps of the state capitol.